In this video, I wanna show you how easy it is to add rate limiting to your API using the Zuplo API gateway and management platform. I'm gonna also show you dynamic rate limiting where you can vary how the rate limits work by properties of the request or more likely attributes of the customer. So here I've got an example API gateway I've just set up. It's called dynamic rate limiting, it takes 20, 30 seconds to create one. And it has a single route on it that is get v1 slash to do's. And that's just proxying this example to do's API just returns a long list of JSON to-do items, very straightforward. And I've already protected this with API key authentication. If you're not familiar with how our API key auth works, just check out the other video in the Getting Started Guide and you'll be clear in two minutes. Um, and it works with any kind of API authentication. You don't have to use API keys to do what I'm doing now. Um, I've already set up two users. Uh, if we look in API key consumers in our settings, you'll see we have customer A and customer B. Customer A has a customer type attribute of free and customer B of premium. So one is a free customer and one is a premium customer. And I'm just using our metadata to set that right now, but it could live in a database or anywhere you like. Um, so the next first thing we're gonna do is actually add some basic IP based rate limiting. So let's add a rate limiter. Okay, I'm gonna use IP based rate limiting. I'm gonna say one request allowed in a minute. So let's save that, that will be deployed. And if I then use the test client here, you'll see I've created a test for customer A and customer B. I've already pasted their keys in. So customer A, I'm gonna do a simple get request here. Let's see what happens. I should get a 200 okay, and then I should get a 429 too many requests. Now for customer B, it's using the same IP address because it's me. So unfortunately, they're also gonna get a 429 because that's too many requests in a one minute window. It would be a better behavior rather than using the IP address to rate limit based on customer. So let's go and do that uh, by setting the user property on the rate limiter. So I'm gonna edit the rate limit property here, policy rather. I'm gonna change to rate limit by user, one request in one minute. I'm gonna click save. And let's go and try this again. So redeploying the application, clicking save will actually reset your rate limit counters as well. So here we go, let's test this. I should get one 200, then 1429, and this customer should have their own allotment of requests, so I'm gonna get 1200 and 1429, so it works perfectly. But what if we wanna give our premium customers a higher rate limit threshold? So we can do that by using a function-based rate limiting policy. So I'm gonna come in here and edit this again. I'm gonna change this to function, and then I'm gonna go and copy some code from our documentation on this, this topic here. I'm just gonna copy this little piece of um, JSON. This tells the rate limiter where should it look for the module that tells the rate limiter how to apply rate limiting. So the module is going to be called rate limiter and the export is going to be called custom rate limit. So let's save that. That will actually give me a build error because it can't find this rate limiter module. No problem, we're going to add one. So let's add a new empty module and I'm going to copy the code from this little example here in our docs. So we'll call it rate limiter. The example of that actually fixes the build now because it can find the file. And this was called custom rate limit, if I remember correctly. And notice the example code is rate limiting based on a specific customer ID as a parameter. Uh, actually, we want to do something a little bit different. We want to use the user metadata associated with that API key. So that's as easy as saying user.data customer type. And if that equals premium, we're going to allow you to have a whopping three requests per minute. And we're going to key that off the user sub as well. That's a good thing to use when, when uh, rate limiting by users, even if different users get different amounts. And if you're not a premium customer, then you're probably a free customer. So you're going to get one request in one minute. I'm going to save that and then let's go and test it and see if it works. So if you remember, Customer A was our free customer, so they get one request, 200, and then they get a 429. Whereas customer B is our premium customer, and they get one, two, three, but not four requests, because even though they're a premium customer, we limited them to three requests per minute. That's how easy it is to add custom rate limiting in Zoopla.